Yo, what's up, everybody? Today I'm going to unbox this uh, flashlight that I got uh, from Amazon. It's called the EST uh, flashlight. It is a 1500 lumen flashlight that, and pretty much um, it's very small and lightweight. So here's a quick unboxing of it. Simple enough. Here's the flashlight. All right, let's see. The button on it is not on the bottom. It's not on the top. It's on the side. So you're using your thumb to start it. I wonder if it's dead. Um, let's see, let's take a look. So here is the flashlight itself. And it, what's so cool about this flashlight is it holds an 18650 battery. So those rechargeable lithium batteries that um, is in, you know, laptops and everything and solar cars. I mean, you know, um, Teslas and all that stuff, not solar cars, but um, yeah. So let's take it apart and unscrew it to see the battery first oh so it has this little plastic thing that you take out to um you know be able to utilize the flashlight so this is a um 18650 battery it's 36 3500 milliamps and it's rechargeable and these are really high drain types of flashlights uh and they're pretty you know strong and you know and I love that uh, the reason why I like this type of flashlight because it's very compact and it's like a good everyday carry. And this one in particular is um, just small and lightweight as well and it's like hard anodized aluminum uh, with some cooling. And one unique thing about this flashlight is that it charges via the top and it's got some cooling on there as well. So now that I've taken the little plastic off, let's turn it on. Ooh pretty bright. So 1500 lumens, I believe that if you, um, you can cycle through it, let's see. Um, this is the lowest, so I guess it starts off with the highest, lowest, uh, one, two, three, and four. So we're right. And so I'm not gonna shot directly into the camera, but let's go back to one. I think there's a strobe mode, I believe, but I'm not sure how to access it. There is a uh, just reading it on the Amazon site, there is a lifetime replacement for these. And let's see, I believe you can actually um, double tap to get to the second uh, setting. So let's say I'm on the highest setting, I double tap and it gets a lower grade. Okay, now I'm at the lowest setting, I double tap. It's even, this is the lowest amount of lumens so I can actually look into the flashlight without hurting my eyes. So maybe this is like 0.5 lumens. Anyways, so that is the flashlight. And I'm not sure how to turn it off. Okay, um, I guess you have to hold it down to turn it off. So hold down the button for a few seconds and it'll turn off. But that is the flashlight. Let's take a look at what comes with the box. All right. Looks like some <coughs> straps and whatnot. All right, that's the rest of the box. <coughs> Sorry about that. So it comes with... Um, these extra washers, I believe. Let's take a look at it. Or yeah, there it is. So rubber washers, extra ones that go around it so that it's waterproof. And I'm not sure that it comes with this little foam thing in there. I'm not quite sure what that is for. So this is a little extra piece of foam. Um, maybe to stop it from utilizing. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Um, it fits just one battery, so. I don't know where else would it show. So we'll take a look at the, let's take a look at the manual. All right, so in terms of uh, this manual, just one piece of paper right here. And there is a magnet on the bottom of this, which is amazing because you can magnetize this, use it for, uh, you know, when you're looking through your car, put it on the bottom of your hood and mount it anywhere that's magnetic. So this is great and useful to mount it anywhere, uh, which is amazing. It even comes with a piece of a lanyard right here that you can loop through the bottom of this to you know have a hand strap, but I'm not gonna utilize this at all. So put that to the side. Um, comes with this little belt buckle, which you can connect right here. And I believe uh, connected to the belt. So this is another useful function. Um, if you don't want to just store in your pocket, you can connect it to your belt. And here is the cable to 
magnetically charged device. It says that it just kind of connects right at the top, just like that, very easily. And let's see, when it is charging, it turns red, and once it gets full, it'll turn blue. So just to let you know, you know, very convenient to utilize when you are charging uh, magnetically. So, but the only bad side are, you know, is that if we lose this cable, we can't charge this uh, flashlight. So you need to make sure that you have this somewhere. Um, in terms of the flashlight itself, it comes with, oh, different modes. So double pressing, single click, switch to on and off. Okay, so single clicks will switch to T1 turbo mode. So clicking it once is turbo mode. Hold, press switch to uh, do turbo mode. Hold, hold it for a second. Hold, hold, press switch. Oh, it goes into lower mode. Okay, not really know what that means. So this is the highest mode. It's double. I'm not sure how to get to. Um, anyways, oh, right. Don't ever stare into this flashlight. This is called the ESC L1. FYI, if I haven't already said that. Um, when take the light with bank cards, magnetic or cell phone should replace magnet with rubber pad. Oh, okay. Let's see. So if you don't want to utilize the magnet on the bottom of this, you can swap it out with this rubber bottom so it won't utilize it. Okay. Um, oh, so if you're near a cell phone. You should put the uh, rubber on the bottom so it doesn't utilize this magnet. But I'm not sure how that will work because it doesn't really tell you. Um, anyways, other than that, here are some spef specifications for the flashlight. It actually takes two CR123s so, uh, batteries as well as the 18650s. So. I'm just gonna go over the stats for the 18650. On the lowest setting is uh, 0.5 lumens, and then the regular is three lumens. And you have 20, 70, 160, 365, 490, and T1 is 1500, or I guess from 490, it'll jump to 1500 lumens, which is max brightness. And the max brightness lasts um, 210 minutes. And the lowest is pretty much in infinity, it doesn't really give you a number. So the lowest setting that's already default is 450 hours and that's three lumens, so which is quite a long time. And the beam distance is 123 meters, so I guess where you can see it. And peak beam intensity is 3800 CD. It has an IPX rating of eight, so can be submerged in water and still works. So and it's an impact resistance of one meter. And that's basically it. Um, and let's see, it has a warranty of 24 months because there's a warranty right here, but that's a lifetime replacement in case this gets, in case I guess the LED doesn't work or something. Uh, in terms of the battery itself, there is a little thing that tells you this is the positive and this is the negative usually. So make sure you put it in the right way or else it won't work or fry the, the charger cable. That's basically it to this part. I see that this is like a headlamp strap for your head. So we're gonna try to set that up right now. Um, all right. So this looks like um, it fits around your head, like a, like a band. And I believe you kind of like put it through these hooks to make sure it works. So. Let's kind of loop that right now to test that out. I believe I kind of like go through, put this in here and then right here. This rubber rised strap. And there's a little gray area. Um, maybe that's like where this matches the direct middle. So it looks like that. But now, right here. And let's see, for the top part. So I understand this, this can loop through this and then it connects through and tighten up where you need to. But in terms of this strap, this is the top. So I believe you kind of loop this through, just loop it backwards in. And how 
Would this work exactly? So if this goes, this connects through in here to tighten it up. But how does this connect through? I'm not quite sure. Um, let me untangle this and figure this out. So if this goes through here in the back of it, and then through here, and if this goes through this, nope, it doesn't work that way either. So how? Um, Anyways, if you guys know how to set this up, please let me know because I can't figure this out. So let's see, this strap will go in here. This doesn't fit through this. I'm not sure. Um, take a look at that. I don't think this fits through this to, you know, to tighten it here. But I can see that these can go through this via easily if you wanted to. Um, like that. All right, so say that is part of the strap. And, and let's see, this can go through here and go through here. Just kind of poke it through. And so now we have a strap, and then I guess we can mount this part through. And voila! So this part is done. I got somewhat of a head strap. Let's tighten this up a little bit. Oh, wait, this part's the tight part. There we go. And okay, so I'm gonna have a head strap. I'm not quite sure what this. How to tighten this top part? This is the confusing part of it. Where does this go? How does this tighten up? How does it loop through this somehow? Loop through this because it can't go through this. Anyways, uh, I think there's a design flaw. I'm not quite sure. So if you know the answers, please let me know because this thing doesn't go through this. I couldn't figure out how to do it. But um, other than that, sort of the strap sort of works. So oh, I put it in wrong. So. I'll redo this and I'll figure that out. And that's, yeah, that's the head strap. And let's take a look at putting it through real quick. So imagine if you had it on and you, oops, slide it in and slide this headlamp light, flashlight inside and then put it on your head. Once it's tightened up, you can tilt it the way you need it. There we go. So you can tilt it the way you need it and for your head strap. And that's basically it for this flashlight review. Um, check it out. It's the EST L1 torch. So by EST. And that's it to this review. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you know how to, you know, do this thing, the strap right here, which I can't figure it out, let me know also down in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.